I, you can probably tell I've been to Ikea because of my latest fashion. My pencil hat and my brownie scarf. So I wanted to talk about the secret rules of shopping at Ikea. Rule number one. Upon entering, you must always grab a pencil and a ruler. So you can pretend to measure things even though the measurements are already on the box. And the pencils are just brilliant pencils. If you want a pen, go to Argos. Rule number two. Follow the arrows. The arrows are there to tell you which way to go around the store. Don't take your own route. I once saw a couple walking against the arrows and then an old lady stopped and looked at them as if they just punched a midget. Punched a midget. Rule number three. All items must have a ridiculous Swedish name. I bought a river. What's a river? Is it something to make perforations in, in pies like you do with a fork? Is it a tool to get rid of the bones in, in, in ribs? Nope. Maybe it's an Australian that keeps making writing mistakes and has to get rid of them with a ribber. Not that either. A ribber? A ribber is a picture frame. Rule number four. You must always buy one item that you don't need or want. Mine was a Polavide. A Polavide? Well, that's a blanket. Rule number five. This is the most important rule if you choose to eat or buy food from Ikea. You must get either dime bars or meatballs. There is literally no joke attached. It is just a rule. Fine, I'll do an accent. Swedish meatball. This room's got really dark. As the light stops shining through, I must bid you adieu and thank you for watching this video on YouTube. Two barmen walk into a club, one of them pulls a pint. Good night.